I've spent the morning scouting around some areas, some familiar trails, and some areas I haven't been to before. And what's interesting is that this is now, you know, a week into this trip, but I feel like it's only been one or two days. So it's been pretty awesome to photograph four different scenes so far, but I still have the energy to go out and try to find new subjects. I think last year's trip, I only lasted like five days or so. And part of that is because I got sick at the end, but you know, at the same time, I'm really uh, excited to be here and uh, actively scouting for new shots. I got two shots that involve fall color that are kind of uh, waiting to ripen in the main canyon. And now I'm here on the east side and I'm looking for some other elements to photograph and I'm getting some good ideas here, but I really gotta look for that exact scene I'm looking for, but I think I'll find it. So, it's a pretty cool place. I spent the rest of the afternoon wandering the very chaotic and colorful washes on the east side of the park. There was evidence of flash floods from the previous months, which made for some interesting conditions, but nothing really grabbed my attention. As a photographer, it's very difficult to work with chaotic subjects, and that pretty much summarizes my history of shooting Zion's east side. It was my goal to find a defined subject, and as it turns out, Mother Nature was kind enough to point me in just the right direction. I found a promising scene comprised of pine trees, foreground shrubs, and a large sandstone cliff. I immediately made plans to return the next morning in hopes of photographing it in beautiful reflected light. <laughs> 